Hello from Mexico and welcome back to our channel. So today I'm at the house site to finally give you guys a house update and show you everything whoop, that's been going on here at our home build here in Mexico. So if you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Let's check out what's been going on at the house. So I'm starting here in Dominic's room because while the walls look absolutely beautiful, we have encountered an issue with the finish on this walls. Let me show you. So we started to notice that the white finish was cracking a little bit in some places. This is probably the worst crack, but there are other places where it's cracked a little bit. So while they work on repairing that and figuring out kind of what went wrong, we have switched the way that we're doing the walls and the finish on the walls. And so Poncho and Ray are working on the finish on, um, well, working with the new finish in the living room, which is what I'm gonna show you guys next. I do wanna stress though, our build is not, you know, perfect. We know that we are going to run into some issues. This just happens to be an issue that we've run into. As soon as we realized what was happening and we, and we noticed the cracks, we halted on this finish and explored other options. So we are going to get this repaired, fix it so that we don't have this issue, but moving forward with the other bedrooms, we are going a different route with the finish that'll still give us a smooth wall, um, but won't crack like this or estrellar, which is what the workers call it. Quick dog check in, here's Jackson and Pika. We've got Miklo and Canelo and Diesel, Maya. My sweet Maya, my viejita. What do you got there? Candy. It's a big bag of goodies? Yes. So Pam, the muralist, is here today. Um, she's at the kindergarten painting. And her and her family brought Dominic some little, some little things. Huh. Like a bag of goodies, which I thought was really sweet. Some Lego goodies. stuff. Okay, you're gonna go put those together? Yeah. Okay. Also, we have a new rescue puppy. This is Martillo. He's over here with the other puppies. He's our smallest guy right now. And I haven't done a story time on him or these other guys yet, but I promise that I will. Okay guys, so this is the new finish. I'm gonna go on the other side, but I kinda wanted to do it from this side so you guys can kinda get an idea. But this is the different finish. Um, I don't care as much that it's not completely white because we're gonna paint obviously all of our walls. What my request was, was I wanted smooth walls so that I could wash them. Because the problem that I have in like our rental, for example, is that the wall is very textured and so they're very difficult to wash. So I just wanted smooth walls so that they could be washed. That's what these guys are putting in now. Okay, here's a look at the other side of it. So, <laughs> Um, so this is like a smooth finish on the walls or smooth as they can get it with this type of finish, which I'm okay with because it can still be washed, you know, um, it's not textured. Like I'm not, I don't feel like dirt's going to get trapped in it once I paint it. So they're going to move forward with this finish on the walls and I'll show you how, um, Poncho and Ray are putting in, um, putting in this finish. Now, while our crew continues with this finish on our walls in the Revolque, Jose and his crew will be back in a couple of weeks. And what they're going to do is work on fixing the finish that they did in the um, baby's bedroom and Dominic's bedroom and figuring out what went wrong and how we can you know, move forward. And then let me take you over to the bedroom, which is where Jose and his crew were working um, and show you the progress that they've made in the primary bedroom. It's super windy right now, which is, something we've been dealing with wind and dust like crazy um but here is a look at the primary bedroom and the um progress that jose and his crew have made they basically are to the point where they would put the last finish on it um now that we're gonna go with a different finish however um they have stopped work for a couple of weeks to do another job closer to where they live and then they'll be back to continue working on the revolque. Um, they are not only working in the bedroom itself but they're also working in the primary bathroom so they haven't done the walls but they have done the ceiling and also Fidel and I's closet so again 
Um, they haven't done the walls, but they did do the ceiling in the, in the closet. Okay, I know a lot of you were upset when I suggested closing off this wall and taking out the cutouts. However, Fidel and I went back and forth on it a lot. We do get earthquakes here. So my biggest fear, because that's where our bed is going, my biggest fear is that even if I add shelving and things like that to that part of the wall, that um, you know I'm gonna deal with stuff falling off if we get an earthquake and things like that, I don't wanna go that route. So Fidel has been closing up this wall. They have one more row to go and then this wall will be completely closed. Once it's closed, Jose and his crew can finish the Unrevolke on this wall and then um, we'll just be waiting on the finish to complete to complete this room. Estamos pagando las columnas, ya estamos acabando de terminar la pared triple A para poder este a nivelarlas. Ajá. Entonces, estamos en mi pista aquí con mi hermano. En lo que los solo nada más haciendo terminados. Estamos terminando ya, vamos a terminar aquí para poder salir ya esto es la es el final para poder bajar mi mis bajadas. Ajá. Entonces aquí ya este yo creo que unas Muy poco tiempo, lo que me falta son este, para hacer estos detalles. Ya estamos así, este, terminando la casa. Ya, 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 ya es más de la, los tres cuartos, gracias a Dios. Y a los muchachos ya se va haciendo el, el sueño de realidad. Sí. Termino la casa. Bueno, estamos aquí. Alza para arriba, tanto, ¿verdad? Alza para arriba, güey. Diego and his primos are also here working today. They're helping out. I've got Dominic with me. Yeah. We made a platform so we can hold a lot more in here. Uh huh. Oh, you guys are working on clearing all this off the second floor. That's a good idea. And since we had to drop off the balcony, we thought since it would be easier. It would be a lot faster and easier than just grabbing a handful. Uh -huh. We need a platform like this. I have like some other this. So then we're going to do this. And then once we're done clearing all this, we got to go clear this one downstairs to the... Okay. I'll let you back to work. Okay. Dumping the pieces down here all at once, and then they're going to come down and haul these pieces into the garage. That's what the boys are doing. And this is the last one that they needed to put the form on so that they can pour the columns for the second floor.
did you touch? Watch out for the puppy. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. Okay, go wash them. There you go. Oh. Oh, it's coming off. Cool. Yeah. Good job. Is it that? Almost. Daddy's going to help get the rest. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's coming off. Cool. Yeah. Good job. Is it that? Almost. Daddy's going to help get the rest. Yeah. Mm. Scrub a little bit harder, baby, to get it off. Because it's a sete. A wheel. Huh? It's oil. There you go. Oh, much better. We got a cup there. Yeah. Goodness, sir. How about you get that out of your clothes? I'm going to go. Okay, guys. So that's going to wrap up this house update. Um, they've been working really hard, but they've only been back at work from um, Semana Santa for a week. So just this last week. So they've gotten quite a bit done. I'm um, pretty excited at their, like, progress on getting the walls done. Like, as they get, you know, another room done, it's pretty cool to watch it all come together. Um, on the other two rooms, like the texture or the, uh, the walls in there, we do not believe that it was because of the work that was done there. I just want to make that clear. I don't want anybody making assumptions. Um, we do believe that it was the material that was being used and the type of finish on that wall. So, um, that's why we've decided to make the change and, you know, uh, Jose and his crew will come back and, and just fix what needs to be fixed in the, in the two rooms. So. Um, I just want to make that clear. I don't want anybody making like any ugly assumptions. Like stuff happens. You have to make adjustments. Anyway, we are going to take um, a drink and that to our muralist. And then we are going to go home and start dinner. Dominic and I, Diego is staying here with his cousins to work and with his dad. But hope you guys enjoyed this update. I promise that I'll be back with another update. They've just been a little bit harder to get because we've been so busy. But as always, we appreciate you being here. And we'll see you guys on the next vlog. Bye, guys.